Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Home, the guitar podcast. Today, I'm going to show you the Honey Pot Fuzz by TC Electronic. This is from their smorgasbord line of pedals that are all super affordable, built like tanks, and cover a wide range of classic effects. So you should really go check out the whole line. I'm going to have demos for a lot of them here coming up after this. Uh, let's get started with this thing. Right now, I've got it off. Here's my dry signal. <laughs> And here's the wet signal set to a setting that I think sounds pretty dang good. It definitely hits that big muff sort of vibe. Lots of gain, lots of sustain, lots of just like nasty, gnarly grungy goodness in there uh it's almost like a distortion it's so fuzzy let's uh explore the full range of some of these knobs right now i've got the gain pretty high i find that big muffs have sweet spots where you dial them just right and the uh, the gain structure kind of opens up into like this harmonically rich like almost 3d sort of sound so uh, first off i'm going to show you where that threshold is with this pedal <laughs> So right around there, it starts to open up into that 3D harmonic territory I was talking about. You have a little bit more gain range right above that, but I mean, come on, that's pretty heavy gain. Now let's explore the gain range below this setting. You can get it to sound pretty good on the low gain settings, but you have to tweak the tone and the volume controls to get there. There's definitely usable sounds down there in the lower gain settings. Uh, you just have to get a little bit creative and use it in kind of unconventional ways. But as I like to say, there's no such thing as bad tone. There's just appropriate and inappropriate tone. So I think there's some definite appropriate uses for those late, low gain sounds. They're just not your classic fuzzy high gain distortion sort of sounds you expect from a big muff style pedal. Uh, now I'm going to turn the gain all the way up and experiment with rolling back the volume on my guitar because people asked for that in the unboxing video that I did. There's a sweet spot right there where it comes in and out. After that, you don't really get much of anything. Well, there you go. People wanted to see that, and I delivered. That's right. 60 Cycle Hump delivers exactly what you want in demos. <laughs> Tell your friends. All right. Uh, what's left? Let's explore the full range of the tone knob. So here it is all the way dark. Nice and deep and muffy and wooly. There's a lot of low-end character going on there. This would probably be a great pedal for uh, using with a bass guitar. 
I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't have a bass amp set up to record and it would definitely blow up my speakers. <laughs> Lots of high end, <laughs> lots of high end on the far end of that knob there. Uh, this pedal's got a full range of tones there. It's all usable in between. The uh, the extremes are pretty extreme. I doubt most people are going to get a use out of those high, uh, like high frequency sounds on the bright side of that knob. The low frequency sounds, like I said, I think there's some bass potential there. Muffs are famous for being great bass fuzzes. Uh, I don't know which big muff style a pedal this is trying to be, but there's certain ones that do a better job at bass than others. This might be a good one. I don't know. It's a, it's an affordable pedal. Try it out. If you're uh, bass fuzz curious, if there's enough demand, maybe I'll make a bass fuzz demo with this thing. We'll see. I'm not much of a bass player. As far as the volume knob goes, this thing's at Unity right now. There's plenty of extra volume on tap to get into. And of course, you can turn it down all the way if you want and turn it into a mute pedal for some reason. I don't know. You're weird. You'd, you'd do it, I guess. All right, well, I don't have anything else to say about this. I'm going to play out with some uh, weird noodly goodness. Uh, I'm just going to just play a bunch of riffs that no one actually wants to hear. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, dislike, share it with your friends. Do all that fun YouTube stuff that you know how to do. Uh, another thing you could do is uh, count the stripes in this video. There's a lot of horizontal stripes going on. Is there enough? Is there not enough? I'll leave a poll up here. You tell me if there's enough stripes or not enough stripes. And I'll be sure to run me that in the next video. All right. Later, guys.